Hey friends, Amanda here. I am doing a video of um, a Dollar Tree haul and um, actually a Dollar General haul of some goodies that I got the last couple of days. Also, um, some goodies that I had got at a local vendor's mall that we have. People sell new and used things. Um, it's in an old Maloney's building. I don't know if anybody remembers the old store Maloney's, but it was like a, a Walmart back in the day when I was a little girl. It's an old, uh, just a big store building that's been sitting there for years, and um, a neighbor of mine, his daughter, turned it into a big vendor's mall, so it is absolutely full of goodies. Um, I like the old saying, one man's junk is another man's treasure. Um, I love to thrift stores. I love yard sales. Um, being a photographer, I am always going to thrift stores and um, vendors malls and things like that. Looking for props, looking for uh, baskets, anything that I can use for my photography. But today also, I do have... Um, some items that were gifts that was sent to me from family that I would like to share with you all because it's things that I love so much. I am, like I said in videos before, I'm a thankful girl and I appreciate anything anybody sends me, buys me, gives me. Um, I don't care if it's new, used. I'm just, I'm thankful and appreciative of everything I get. But first, we are going to start off with some of the goodies that I had gotten um, at uh, a vendor's, um, I started to say farmer's market, at our local vendor's mall. Um, and it is super cute. Um, at first, I didn't think that it would fit, but opening it up and trying it out, it absolutely does fit. And um, I will add a photo um, in this video of me wearing it to show how cute it looks. Um, as you all know, I am crazy about mermaids. And last year while on vacation in Florida, um, a way that I celebrated my 40th birthday, which was um, that coming September, is um, I got to be on the other end of the camera instead of me trying to make every, you know, people feel good about themselves and feel comfortable in photos. I was having that done for me, and it was an absolute blast. Um, a real good friend of mine, him and his wife, um, Michael and Carbon Heisman, um, in Florida, uh, were the photographers. And um, over the last, like I said, uh, probably three or four years that we have gotten to go to Florida, to this specific area, um, we have made really good friends with this couple. Um, but we had done a mermaid shoot, uh, instead of me getting all emotional and sad and depressed about turning 40, um, I had fun with it and I become a mermaid. Uh, what a dream come true is to do a mermaid session, photo session for me on the beach. I am a beach bum. I would live on the beach if I could, except for when it's hurricane season, then I want to be home in my mountains where I feel safe. But I don't know if you can see, but in these photos right here, you can see a little bit of um, our family pictures that he had done. And there, right there is one of my mermaid pictures that I had done. And um, yeah, maybe some people thought it was conceited of me, but hey, I don't care. I felt good. I felt beautiful. Um, I am going to look back on those pictures and say, oh my God, I was turning I was less than a month shy of turning 40 in those pictures so I am going to be thankful and appreciative of them and I am glad that I did them I am turning 41 very soon next month September 10th I am going to be 41 years old but let's get to this haul guys and enough of my rambles but this first item I am going to show um, it is a little snuggy blanket and it looks like a mermaid tail your feet do fit down in here. It does keep you warm. It's not too thick, not too thin. It's just right like baby bear's porridge, as I say. You can put your feet down inside this. It's not one of the blankets that lay over top of you like I've seen before. Um, 
but the price that they had on this blanket it was new still in the pack and they had different colors but i chose this color because it matches my beauty room um, i am going to appreciate this when i do have my gallbladder surgery um, and uh, i'm going to say about a week the 28th of this month of august i am having gallbladder surgery um, so I'm going to be down for a couple of weeks and I am going to enjoy it and enjoy being lazy and having my family and lo loved ones uh, wait on me hand and foot. I'm going to appreciate that and I'm going to lay on my couch in my mermaid tail. So I'm going to be a princess mermaid when I am sick after my surgery. But the price for this was only $3.99, guys. And like I said, I'll add a, um, a photo of what it looks like. It's super cute. I also got my daughter a blanket made like this, but it looks like a Boston Terrier. My mother has a Boston Terrier dog who my um, daughter is very, very attached to. Her name is Lucy, and we love our little Lucy so, so, so much. I will add some videos of her on my channel. I've got all kinds of cute, fun summer videos of the dogs playing, um, our little vacation that we did recently, Megan's birthday. I am just behind on sharing videos because um, my photography, it is um, still wedding season for me, so I have been super, super, super duper busy um, doing photo editing, taking photos, printing. So that's kind of got me behind on sharing my videos. Um, I do try to at least stay up to date with my uh, monthly subs uh, beauty subscriptions um, because I know I have a limited time on sharing those because, you know, everybody is getting their beauty subscription videos up. But I do want to do this haul because I have some cute goodies that I want to share. And um, my daughter's blanket, I think it was $5, but I put it up for Christmas as a Christmas gift for her. Um, the next item that I got was a gift from my mother from the um, Vendor's Mall. And it is a mermaid statue. Let's see if I put my hand up like that, you can see it better. Um, she does look worn out and just vintagey looking, but the, the seller said that is how she was made. Um, she originally came from, I guess, a let's see yeah you can put um i guess jewelry down in there but what i'm gonna do is i've got all kinds of sand from the beach that we go to in florida so i'm going to put a little bit of sand down in here and then i have some loose pearls of different colors and i'm just going to have her for decorative purposes and um she did come from hobby lobby and i think she was like 15 dollars originally and um, the seller um, had her for, I think she was like $3, I think is what my mom said. But I absolutely love her. She's got little flowers in her hair. I'm actually thinking, I don't know if I should keep her like this or um, maybe paint her. I love the colors. I love how it's like distressed, aged looking. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll touch up, paint her some really pretty green eyes and maybe some brown hair and paint her flower in her hair and just leave the rest like that. But she is so cute. And I'll set her back there. Um, the next item that I have bought, and I don't know if you can see her or not, but right back there on the wall is another mermaid and she looks like she's holding a pearl in her hand right there um she too um looks like she is she's wood just like the little statue here um she looks like she's you know vintagey and old and kind of faded out with the color um i i think i am going to keep her like that because her color is like a turquoise and i do have turquoise in my room um I don't, you can't see this walls were uh, white, but on the other side, I do have a few turquoise walls. And, um, yeah, she's, uh, I think I'm going to just keep her like that. Maybe the pearl that she's holding in her hand, I may take like a pearl color and kind of paint it a little bit. But, um, I think she's beautiful the way she is. She originally come from Hobby Lobby is what it said on the tag and she was I think at Hobby Lobby she was $34.99 and I only paid $8 for her. She is absolutely beautiful and let's see 
I, I think that's all that I got that day at the vendor's mall. So, uh, let's, um, and then I'm going to go, since I'm showing like gifts, um, I'm going to show a package that I got in the mail the other day from my mother-in-law, Linda. She's always sending me packages. I opened it the opposite way, the bottom of the box, so you couldn't see the address. But when you open it, she's, like I said, guys, she's always sending me stuff. I'm absolutely, I have an amazing mother-in-law. Um, I have been blessed with two mother-in-laws. Um, I am divorced from my daughter's dad, but his parents are still amazing to me, and um, you know I still consider them family. But um, my husband now, his mother Linda is just, just amazing. And look inside of this box, how cute! I am gonna keep this box. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but I love it. And look inside here, guys. She knows I love flip flops. Look at the flip flops. Aren't those? And they match in the box. Look how these colors match. <laughs> that was just too cute. But look at these. Look how cute. They have little rhinestones on them. Yes, she said these are for my beach trip next year because I didn't get to go to the beach this year because of my husband's job. Um, it is a fairly new job that he is at now. So we didn't get to take us a big week long paid vacation. But we did get to do a little something from um, my daughter for her birthday. Um, this past July and with my mother-in-law as well. Um, back this past March, um, she lost her husband, which was my husband's stepdad, Doug, and um, lost him to cancer. So she needed this vacation, and I really think she um, had a good time. And that's all that matters. And yeah, I love spending time with my mother-in-law. She's a great lady. The next gift that I have, um, she's the one that got me all this mermaid stuff that I had um, showed in one of my videos. Um, the next gift I have is something that my cousin Tony, who was in Indiana, my whole family know that I am a huge, huge, die-hard Walking Dead fan. Um, that will be another video. I am going to do a video soon of... Um, all of my Walking Dead um, memorabilia, I guess is what you'll call it. Um, all my Walking Dead things that I have, over, I have collected over the years that family have bought me. I have bought myself. I'm going to show things from uh, the conventions I go to. Uh, I am thankful that the last, um, let's see, I went in 2015. I didn't go in 2016. I went 2017, 2018. And I won a free weekend pass ticket, which saves me almost $100 for um, a convention in Atlanta, which is called Walker Stalker Con. If any of you go to Walker Stalker, please comment below and let me know. Maybe we've seen each other there. Maybe this year we can see each other and, you know, me and be friends. Um, yeah, and get to say hi at the convention. But, yeah. Um, I go to this convention in Atlanta every October, and I'm just absolutely crazy. Fear the Walking Dead, the Walking Dead, I am huge. I have met several of the cast. I have pictures, I have autographs, I've met Norman. I get a photo, photo op with Norman Reedus every year I go. Hopefully I get to this year, which usually um, my mom and my husband will go in together, and that's my birthday part of my Christmas gift because the photo ops are so pricey. They started out being $100. It was $103 and that was tax and everything. And this year they're $145 and that is not including tax and all that. So yeah, but for me, it was the best 10 seconds of my life to get to stand there and say hi to Norman Reedus. And he put his arm around me and he, every time Every year that he sees me and I say, hi, Norman, he'll say, hey, cutie, or he'll say, hey, sweetie. <laughs> so, to me, I think he's just, he's saying that just to me, but I'm sure he says it to all the others like me. But anyway, this gift that I have is from my cousin, Tony in Indiana. And um, first he um, shared it on Facebook with me of what he had gotten me. 
and um, I can't remember how many of these in all they have, but he's got me two so far, and he said, give him time and he'll get me the rest, but he's got it all wrapped up so it don't get broken, and it is bottles of wine, look at that, a little ASMR. <laughs> But this is so cool, guys. This one is the Blood Red Blend 2015. I don't know if they're dating them like from the conventions, but I think 20, either 2014 or 2015 was their first convention that they had in Atlanta. Atlanta is like the big, the home of the Walking Dead. I, I'm going to have to make a whole video of nothing but the Walking Dead because I've got so much stuff and I just got so many pictures and just so much to talk about, but Anyways, there is an app. It says, Watch the Dead Rise by downloading our Augmented Reality app. So it tells you what app to go get. And then when you look through your phone at this bottle, it looks like it busts open and it looks like zombies are coming out. So I'm going to try to make a video of that. I may have to use either my iPad or my husband's iPhone to record my phone so you can see what I'm seeing in these awesome bottles. But yeah, Ooh, I'm going to be drinking some blood, some zombie blood over with me because I get so excited when it comes to the Walking Dead. So that's the first bottle. I'm going to keep these newspapers so I can wrap them up when I do store them because I probably won't be drinking them. These are collectors. The next one. I'm so excited because really I haven't opened them myself. I've been saving them to do this video. So it's killed me having these. My aunt um, had been to Indiana to visit um, another aunt that I have there, which is my cousin Tony's mom, my Aunt Jackie. Um, she is a, a breast cancer survivor. And um, she's been having some problems, some health problems. So uh, family try to go to visit her when she can't come to visit us because Indiana is like a six and a half, seven hour drive um, from here where I live. And it's even longer for, from Georgia to um, Indiana. Um, for my family, but my Aunt Charma had went to visit my Aunt Jackie, which is Tony's mom, and she brought me back these that my cousin Tony had sent to me. This one is the Cabernet, um, I ain't even gonna try to say that, the Cabernet Salve, S-A-V-U-V-I-G-N-O-N, -N, 2016, um, these bottles are very detailed. This kind of, you can feel that. It kind of like sticks up like it's 3D. But it also tells you to get the app. Let's see what it says. Okay. An epidemic of apoc apocalyptic prop, what? Proposition? Propositions? What? I can't even say that. Oh my god. Has swept the globe, causing the dead to rise and feed on the living in a matter of what? Months. This I don't, you just have to see this writing. It's hard to it's hard to read. Especially when you're blind like me without glasses on. I got new glasses and I need to wear them. Um Society has crumbled. There is no government, no grocery stores, no mail delivery, no cable TV. Luckily, there is wine. So I'm ready for the apocalypse. I have my zombie wine. And yeah, and I got a few weapons too. So I'm ready. Look out, zombies. <laughs> Anyways, there is that. Um, gift wise, let's see, that's all the gifts that I have, um, to share, I think, do, 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 do. yeah, I think, um, so let's go on with the Dollar General haul and the Dollar Tree haul. So we will start with the first things that I got was at the Dollar General and I don't know if I, I can't remember if I've done a video before of my, um, my little fairy garden that I got. I got all kinds of uh, sp springy and summery fair fairy garden stuff. To, it's in a little box. I'll have to do a video of, of just like 
all my fairy garden stuff. I got some really cute stuff, but Megan had bought me my first little fairy garden set for Mother's Day. Oh my gosh, I'm going to say about three years ago. It's got little teeny tiny miniature stuff I'm absolutely nuts about. Uh, fairies, um, unicorns, um, yeah, I think mermaids, things like that. But um, I, saved, so I saved it. I never took it out. And I was like, I'm going to buy more stuff to add to this. And then I'm going to build one big, beautiful fairy garden you know in a box so my husband is going to make me a bigger box and when i build my little fairy garden like village in it i'm going to do it seasonal seasonally i guess that's how it is um <laughs> so i'm going to do it like for spring summer fall winter and i've already got so 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 much spring stuff and i've not even set it up but i am going to go ahead and set up and build the fall one soon and then maybe the spring one can be like a winter time project when you're snowed in and if I don't have any pictures to work on then you know when I'm not playing my sims games then I will um I will work on my fairy garden plus I have a little miniature dollhouse it is so tiny and it's in a little bitty globe and it lights up and it plays music i'll show it when i do my fairy garden but i got that for my mom for christmas last year and we still haven't put it together but we're saving that for a rainy snowy day but the first thing that i got and i'm going to call this a fall haul from the dollar general is um a little fairy garden house and it's all decorated for fall look at the crow he's so cute i do have a couple little fairy garden houses and they do light up the little windows is um cut out and you it's got batteries you put in it and it lights up they're really cute i have two different ones this one's not so what i'm going to do is i may get my husband to cut out these little holes in the windows and drill me out a hole there and i got a little light thing that i can stick in there and i can plug it up make it light up and then um yeah so my little fairy village for fall will be lighting up but i have this it was i think it was five dollars next I bought a little sign. These are all a dollar. All these little small things, they're a dollar. Um, this one I think I'm going to put with the spring stuff because it does have a watering can and garden tools and a little red bird. I mean, a red bird can be all year round. But this stuff right here is more like for spring, so I will add this to my spring garden. Fairy garden. I think this home where it's like harvest season for corn and things like that, you know, harvesting your garden things. Um, the theme that I'm going for other than fall is um, I'm going to have garden. I'm going to do it for my gnomes. Um, I think mostly with my flowers and stuff in the spring, that's going to be for my fairies. And this stuff right here is going to be for my little garden gnomes. Um, this little gnome is so, so, so cute. The only one they had, he was a dolly. My husband hates when I say that. I say, oh my God, I only got it for a dolly. He'll say, don't say that. It's a dollar. But I make fun of him too because I say $20. He says 20 He says it real proper. I say 20 And it's really, I think it's 20 But I don't talk proper. <laughs> so I say $20. And he says 20 but anyways, he's holding his little watering cans, and he's got a little birdie. Look how cute. Oh my god, he's so stinking cute. Look at him. He kind of looks like Santa Claus. Overlook my nails. They look terrible. But he's holding his little watering cans, and to go with him for a dolly, I got a little well a little wishing well they had another one that it said make a wish or wishes five cents and i thought that would be cuter with my fairy garden i think i already have that for my fairy garden but i got this one because it's old and mossy yeah and look how cute that's gonna be i'm just i'm so excited to get this if i have to, oh my god right now i ain't even got time to even think about putting this all together but um Next, I got this little sign. It says Gnome Sweet Gnome. It was a dollar as well. I'm going to add it with my little gnome garden. 
And next, I got a little fence that I'm going to put. It was a dollar as well. The sticker's gone off of it. But they had other, this is, uh, looks like it's got sunflower, little sunflowers on it. But um, they do have um, another, uh, or a couple other, um, like, wood fences. And about this tall up behind the fence is, like, corn. And then they have one that's got the sunflowers. And I got them from my mom when she was doing her fairy garden. And now that I need them, I cannot find them. So I have looked at four different Walmarts. And two, one was in a different state, <laughs> which is in Virginia, close to us. And the other one was in um, a place that's about 35, 40 minutes away from us in another county. And then I looked at our two um, Dollar Generals that we have here in my county. And nope, can't find the, the two fences that I want. But hopefully they'll come up or maybe I can find them somewhere, maybe online. Um, next I got, let's see if I got any little statues. I have a little statues. Next I got just a little dollar pack of leaves. They're different colors and they're different sizes. They're really small. And, um, I have a dogwood tree that, um, out in my front yard and, like, little pieces of, like, dead twigs has been falling off. And it looks like when you break them, they look like a miniature tree. You know how a tree looks like in the fall and the winter? There's no leaves on it. So, I'm going to glue it down in with my fairy garden, which I've got moss, you know, to put down as the grass and stuff. Um, you know, it's going to look like dead grass. So, I've got the brown colored moss. I am going to put those little trees in there. And I might glue a little leaf or two on it. Or spread, you know, some little leaves around. But that's what that's for. And next, I don't, yeah, I only paid a dollar for those. I paid three dollars for these. And you know, little fairies and gnomes are little teeny tiny. So um, compared to a pumpkin, they're going to be like that big. So I got these little pumpkins and gourds and acorns and pine cones to kind of sit around in there. And then also, I got this. My mom, she will buy things to make holiday wreaths and things like that for me and her sisters and family and friends. And she had bought these at the Dollar Tree, little sparkly pumpkins. But I'm going to take this off the stick and I'm going to set it around maybe beside my little pumpkin hat or my pumpkin house, my little gnome home. So there's that. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to try to use these as like... Um, like leaves that's just kind of hanging down over top of the house like this inside my little box kind of you know do something cute like that like little trees maybe but it's just like leaves compared to a little um, fairy and gnome home hiding <laughs> it's big because see they kind of look like mushrooms so you know they're like the smurfs they're super tiny but that is all for that. And then also, I got, um, I love these little, um, I guess people can use them as storage boxes or gift boxes. But um, I'm using them for storage to store um, makeup in and like photos and jewelry boxes and things like that. They had um, kind of like the um, ocean themed and seashell themed boxes that I got from the dollar store. They were one, two, three, four in all. And like with this set, I think they, they're they like five in all. Um, my mom does have the whole different size set. This is the next from the smallest and it looks like a little suitcase. It does, it matches my room I guess, but it's not the theme that I really want. So I think I'm going to set this in my computer room, which is, um, where I do my photo editing and I've got my cameras and things like that sitting around. So I think I'm going to set this on the shelf. It's like a little suitcase and it says smile. And um, it, I'm going to add, put photos in it because look, it holds photos perfect. And yeah, I have to show you a photo. This is photos from Walker Stalker this uh, 2018. 
Oh, checking me out, y'all. Look at there. I'm so disappointed because this year, every year I've went, I got an, a lanyard. I think it's what it's called because I always get the weekend pass. And this year, they're not giving the lanyards. They're giving you an old, cheap at an old sorry guys I got upset on that one and I never say a bad word an old cheap um, bracelet like they usually give you on general admission for one day pass and yeah I looked so forward to getting those lanyards because they had the date and they had a cool zombie picture but look at me in action killing zombies look at look how serious I look guys I mean this is how serious I am for the walking dead and when I go everything I wear is like black with skulls on it <laughs> so yeah I try to look cool when I go oh here's another one like I said I'm gonna have to do a just do a video of just of my walking dead stuff yeah there's just I could I could go on and on and on and on about walker stalker is another good one yeah, I'm silly. Okay, but anyways, photos fit perfect in this little box. They've got all sizes. It does latch. You gotta push that in there good. Snap it. There you go. And they make cute little gift boxes as well. So I got that one. And next, I got this big ginormous one. And what my mom did with hers is she's got a lot, a lot more plunder jewelry than what I have. So in my plunder videos, all the jewelry is a mixture of mine, my daughter's, and my mother's. But my mom got hers. It's upside down. And when you hold your little suitcase this way, it's going to be upside down. But it says sparkle. Sparkle. But, um, yeah. She puts her plunder jewelry in this. It's really deep. Look how deep that is. And it's a good size. And they actually make a box. It's not like designed like this. It don't match the suitcase set. But it's a big old box. And it's bigger than this. And I told mom she should have got that one. Because it was bigger and it would hold more. But I think I'm going to put um, maybe some photos in here. You know that I've taken of the a family. I may put jewelry in it to kind of clean off, clean out one of my little drawers over here and just add more makeup to those and just put all my jewelry in here. But there is that. I thought that was just too cute. And let's see. Um, I, I did get Walmart today. I think the only thing I got at Walmart is I got fish tank filters for, um, I don't know if I tell you all, but my little pea puffer passed away. He was a little over a year old, and I don't know what happened. He just got sick, stopped eating, and yeah, he passed away on me not long ago. But I am thinking of getting another little pea puffer to add to my room. I miss my little tank because it was like my own little ocean is how I fixed it up. And I had the puffer fish, which I think is tropical fish, but he is not a saltwater fish. He is a freshwater fish. Um, I bought a filter for that tank and for my glowfish tank and then my little tiger barb fish that was really mean and I had to put him in a tank of himself. I got him a new fish filter because it is water changing time soon. So I got that at Walmart and I also got a big old bottle of baby magic. This is what I always used on my daughter when she was a baby. And I did up until she was old enough to say, Mom, I don't want to smell like a baby anymore. <laughs> and now that she's getting older, she's starting to miss the smell. Because this is really good lotion. Especially if you have dry skin, sensitive skin. It makes my skin... I don't put it on my face. I do neck down all over my hands. I mean, my hands and my feet are super soft. And I smell like a baby. Uh, this is my favorite. Much... I mean, I like this way more than the Johnsons and, yeah, Baby Magic. My mom used it with me, this and the baby wash, and I used it with my baby, which is not a baby no more, but, and I still use it on myself, so, yeah, this is, this big old bottle will last, I mean, a little bit goes a long way, um, this big old bottle was only like three nineteen at Walmart, but, yeah, I got that, um, 
Dollar Tree haul for today. This video is already almost 35 minutes, so I apologize and I hope you set through to see my little goodies. That way you too can go, if you like them, you can go to the Dollar Tree and Dollar General and get them too. But um, the first bag here, I got um, some more flowers uh, to add to my fall fairy and my gnome garden. And these are little fall looking flowers that I'm just going to sit around. I may cut them and sit around here and they're like little, you know, tree twigs that you see growing up out of the ground. Or I may leave them like this, branch them out like a tree and stick maybe the house in between them. I don't know. But these were a dollar each. And I think it's all the flowers that I bought. Yeah. Okay, and next I got some more moss. I got this color moss. I think this color where it's more green still, I may use that in my spring. Put it up and I, I think I got another bag because I'm gonna, the box is maybe this big, this deep. It's a made that you can plant real flowers in it, but I don't want to. I want to put fake flowers so I can change them out and plus it so it won't rot my little box. But um, my husband is uh, going to make me a box that I can sit on my front porch on a little uh, patio table that I have out there. And I can just like spring and summer I can change it out. Or in fall I can change out boxes and put my fairy um, and gnome gardens on display outside for family and friends to enjoy. But I think I'm going to save these, this color, for um, the spring and the summer ones. And then for my fall and um, winter themed fairy and gnome gardens. I got like the, the faded out brown color because grass does die out during those times of year. So hopefully it'll look cute. Um, the next bag, this has got some of my daughter's things in it that she wants or that she got today. She is absolutely crazy about the Dollar Tree just like her mama. We love thrift stores, we love Goodwill, we love all those crazy, crazy stores. Some are not crazy, they're good stores. But this bag, I got post-it notes. Um, these are the original post-its. You, you get two um, packs in here. You get the classic yellow. It is yellow, but it looks long green in the video. And purple, that was my school colors. Purple and gold, or purple and yellow. I was a pirate. But um, the post-it notes goes inside. It looks like a Polaroid camera, but it is a um, post-it dispenser that my mother-in-law had gotten me. Next, I got these little lights. You know, everything in here was a dollar, so um, I don't have to. I don't want to keep saying, "Oh, I got this a dollar. I got this a dollar. I got that a dolly." But um, these are little um, wired LED lights. These look like the little rice lights. But they do light up orange. Yep, these light up orange. So I thought about lining the inside of my little box that I'm fixing up for my fairy and gnome garden for fall. Um, I'm thinking of adding those in the inside to kind of give like um, a orange glow to maybe like a, a fall sunset or an eerie night. Maybe I'll do, I'll do a Halloween themed one. These are purple. These light up purple. They do use batteries. These lights are made a little different, but they light up purple. A dollar, guys. A dolly. <laughs> I don't want to keep saying that. Okay, this is something my daughter wanted. She liked the fuzziness of it, but this, you remember these classic pins? You push them down, you get a different color all the way around. I have an eyebrow pin that is made by uh, Benefit and yeah it's got all these different colored eyebrow colors and highlighters um, yeah for your eyebrows so it's really neat I may do a video over that as well but this is Megan um, next I got a little wind chime it's just a simple little um, cheaply made wind chime but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add seashells to it. So I'm going to make a little um, seashell wind chime. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I've already got one from the first time we went to Florida. But it doesn't make pretty sounds. But yeah, I'm going to leave this on it. But I am going to like add some little seashells. 
maybe line some down on this. So maybe glue some to this. I don't know. A dollar. I thought it was cute and I like the sound of it. I think this will work good for an upcoming ASMR video. Um, do you guys like ASMR? I know a lot of people think it's stupid and at first I thought it was stupid. I was like, what in the world is like, what's that got to do with helping people with anxiety, hearing them crunch and eat things and smack their lips, but the ASMR that I have been watching that I really enjoy is role playing and um, Minxie Laura is one of my favorite. Karuna Satori is one of my favorites. Um, Sophie Michelle ASMR is one of my all time favorites. Ting Ting is one of my favorites. GB, they do, oh, an ancient, um, God, what is it? Ancient ASMR, I think's her name. I'm just, you know, still new finding channels, but they are an inspiration to me. They do role playing, and um, yeah, they'll like pretend to do a whole a whole haircut or um, your nails. I mean, you just have to search these ASMR artists, and they are amazing. But I thought out maybe starting out doing sounds with my Yeti mic. And, um, yeah, I've got digital backgrounds, uh, the green screen, um, you know, if I wouldn't stutter and go, um, and, and a lot, maybe I could do good videos and do the cute role playing ones. I have so many good ideas in mind that other, um, channels I haven't seen do yet. So, yeah, don't laugh at me. It's something that I want to do because... Um, these ASM artists do videos that honestly has helped me sleep at night when I wake up in panic and I don't want to wake up my husband or call and wake up my parents because I'm scared and I feel like a bother. Um, anybody that suffers with anxiety and panic disorder and even depression, you, um, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Um, those of you that don't, I, you know, read up about it just see what uh, you know what we go through I've dealt with anxiety and depression since I was a young girl not because I come from a bad family I come from a very good family that's just something you can't help um, it can be hereditary my daughter does um, suffer from anxiety and depression the depression um, she deals with more than I do mine is mostly the social anxiety and the um, the panic attacks uh, two different, two totally different things for me. And like I said, you check out these ASM artists and give them a chance. Don't laugh at them, and you will understand um, what I'm talking about and why I am so passionate about ASMR and wanting to do it for myself because I think maybe some of my um, creativity, um, I can have some cute videos as well. And maybe I can help somebody relax. I thought maybe doing um, children's ASMR. I know when my daughter Megan was a baby, she loved for me to whisper to her. And she loved for me to hum and whisper songs to her and sing softly and lightly. And uh, reading her stories and the tone that I would read her bedtime stories in. And believe me, we have a huge collection of classic storybooks. Bible storybooks, um, yeah, I thought maybe reading and doing some, you know, ASMR like that, maybe it would help a child. You know, there's some kids out there that, you know, their parents don't spend time with them and their parents don't read them stories and maybe I can do that. You know, all they have is a TV or an iPad or an iPhone to look at and their parents are too busy or working all the time. Not that that's a bad parent or anything, but maybe they have busy parents that, you know, work all the time and don't really have time to read stories to them or sing a bedtime song or... I have a, I do have a soft-spoken voice. A lot of you do say that you can't hear me, that I do talk too low. So maybe that low, soft-spoken voice will, um, you know, will help me in the long run when I do want to do my ASMR videos. And I hope you all, if you're not a fan of ASMR, ASMR, and when I do my first videos, um, maybe you'll give it a try and 
maybe you'll like it. Maybe you'll like for me to read you a bedtime story or hum or whisper you a bedtime song or a lullaby. So, yeah, that's my plan, guys. But back to the haul. I promise we're almost done. I found, well, actually, my daughter Megan found these today. Look how cute. These would make super cute um, gift, little gift thing, gift ideas. Um, they were four or five different jars of shells. And these shells all have like the same kind of shell in there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty all these shells out. And I thought about using these to make my little bitty wind chime as well. But I also thought going back and getting more of these. One year, um, year before last, when we came back from Florida, I made a little thing called an ocean in a jar. And it is a little tiny short mason jar. And it actually has sand and salt water from the beach that I went to. And it has the, sh the shells in there. So I wanted to bring a little piece of the ocean that I love so much and the beach that I love so much home with me and I shared it with my family and close friends and I made myself one every year that I would go and I would date it but over the years it's it just I, I don't know if it's something to do with the sun or not getting enough sun but it's getting real black and yucky looking and I have to dump them out so what I'm gonna do is um I, the shells that I have collected from the beach I don't think are small enough to put in here but I am going to add some sand to it I'm going to dump these out like I said mix them up add a little bit of sand to it and put some different shells in there and maybe put these up as a gift so you know give to uh, someone special to kind of set maybe get stickers and put their name on it kind of like the little jar that I have my friend uh, Summer got me that says Amanda and it says Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. She got me that on vacation one year. Um, she is a very, a very loyal client of mine and she's always getting me to do her family pictures. So I thought that was super sweet of her getting me that gift. Let me put this back out of the way. Um, I just, I have two more bags and I promise guys I'm done. This video is, oh lord, 47 minutes long. I'm so sorry. Um, the next one has, oh, this is just boring stuff. Um, I needed some scotch tape because a dollar for scotch tape, two rows of it, I think is a good deal. Uh-oh. Um, I got this. They have different patterns, but I do like just the smooth, um, clear one. The other one's clear too, but it's got like a design in it. Um, I used one of these. I put a big old tall candle in it. I decorated seashells, put seashells all around it, um, on the, you know, where the candle fits on the inside, all around here, seashells. I took, um, a piece of, uh, twine and a seashell and made like a little charm on it. And so that's a little candle thing, but I got this for the, um, candle like water fountain thing my mother-in-law got me um this will fit perfect sit on there keep from getting that waxy stuff on my um top of my drawers because i noticed it's got like a get starting to get a wax ring on it and luckily right now you can wipe it off so i got this to sit on it to keep from messing up my drawers next i got this um i actually need to get a couple more of these um, to put down in my fairy garden, cover them with moss, and then I can stick my little twigs and trees in here. But I just got one just to try it to see if it would fit, if it was too thick. They had different sizes, so I just got this to try around, see if it would work. Next, um, I just got a, it's called a Kabuki Cosmetic Brush. But I got this brush just to, when I do my nails and, you know, when I do the dip nails to brush the, the powder off. So that's what that's for. Um, next, my daughter found this. And it is, it says a journal and sticky notes. This is the little notepad. It says be a mermaid and make waves. This one says you're so amazing. These are the stickers, like little post-it stickers. And this is your notepad. How cute, because I always have to write myself remind me notes. <laughs> And then last thing in this bag is I get one every year. This is the 2020 
um, monthly planner. I actually need a 2019, but I don't think I found a 2019. I would have got it, but I went ahead and got this one to put up. I use this for putting in um, sessions, wait weddings that I get booked for like in a year in advance. Um, you know, for mommy. Remind me things that I so need. Okay, put all this in here. And the last bag that I have is, and this is also things of my daughter's right here. She got her two scarves. Um, these scarves for a dollar, guys. These are great little scarves. I do have a video. I am going to do like a back to school video to kind of show some cute things that I did um, to decorate my school books and folders and things like that that I'm going to hopefully get to do soon because school is just starting here. Um, right here where I live, our district, they don't start till, um, I'm going to say, maybe Friday. I think they start on a Friday. But um, anyways, also there's a little thing that I want to show. You can buy two of these same scarves or um, it might work if you cut the scarf in two. But I'm going to show you some cute things you can do to fix some flip flops up with. But these are Megan's scarves. She loves scarves. And then this right here, um, oh, she loves bows. I called them Minnie Mouse bows when I was young because I used to wear them on top of my head. Or my mom would put um, a little bit of my hair back and she would fix my hair like this. And my cousins called me Minnie Mouse or Amanda Mouse, Mandy Mouse. I just had, I always had a crazy nickname. But um, yeah, Megan wears them in her hair. They look so cute. She's still young. She's only 23 years old, so she can pull off all those cute looks. I'm lucky I pulled the mermaid look off. I still probably look like a grandma dressed as a mermaid. But, you know, to other people, but in my eyes, I think I still look, ooh, I look fairly young. But, a dollar for Megan's bow. Okay, I think this is the last thing. Yes, these two items is probably, other than the seashells and the jars, um, these two items are my favorite items that I got today. And you will see why. Da, da, da. It's something mermaid. Look at this, guys. It's got a little elastic band that is um, a Velcro. Wait till you see this. It's, um, it's actually, it says Be Mermaiding. It is a mermaid tail. There are two different colors. There's that one and that one, pink and blue. And can you guess what I'm going to use these for? Yes. Dress ups for my doggies. Um, Sadie Pug is getting old and I don't want to stress her out dressing her up, but the little dog absolutely loves to dress up and take pictures. The dog has a, the closet in here. Um, half of it's my husband and probably more than half um, is our dog's clothes and dress up things because um, I, I, I do photography and I do uh, petography as well. So I like to dress up the dogs and cats of my family and friends. For Halloween, for all, just any occasion, I like to dress them up, take pictures. So, I think I'm going to, maybe this year be a mermaid for Halloween. I know that's not scary. Maybe I'll be a zombie mermaid. I don't know. But, um, I think my girls is going to be mermaids this year. So, I am going to fix them, um, maybe a little, I don't know, some kind of little thing to go around their neck or maybe a little bra a little shell bra to wrap around them too i don't know i may just use the mermaid tilt and say it can be a mer pug <laughs> i don't know what you would call a mer corgi for brownie because she's corgi mix but um they had ladybugs they had bumblebees it was kids got costumes but um they're so small and cute that you could use them for pets too they had the headbands and the wings and the tutu so I am going to go back and I am going to get more of these costumes and I think I am going to do a photo session um, closer to Halloween and I am just going to do like a small package, maybe $10 package and do um, something of uh, people's pets 
and then what money I make I'll donate to um, a local animal shelter which I don't think we have a local animal shelter it's like an hour away from us or in another state or in another county but um, we do have a couple of ladies here in my area that do foster these pets so they don't get euthanized and one of these ladies in particular Pat Bow Pat Pat Bowling, I think it's her last name. She, um, she, um, she is always out of pocket for vet bills and food and all that for these babies that she takes in and fosters. And she is amazing. They have an amazing place to live. She makes sure that they're fed and their homes are nice and warm and nice and cool. She's just amazing. And I think I want to give back to Pat. So that's the plan. I have a lot of plans. I just hope everything goes good with my surgery. I am absolutely terrified of this. I've never had surgery before. And, um, you know, I, I don't want to have a big old scar because my liver is, or my gallbladder is starting to attach to my liver. Um, but he said I shouldn't have to have a big scar to get that out. That I would have the classic four little scars, four little dots. But if it comes down to it and I have to have a big cut and a big scar, you know, life or death, I would rather have the big scar and, uh, and live. Um, I know it's probably crazy of me to say, but, you know, that's scary if you've never had surgery like that before. Um, yeah. Yeah, you worry. I guess it's normal, but I just want to wake up. And I've got too many plans. I just want to wake up. Um... <laughs> But anyways, guys, um, that is it for my haul. This video has been almost an hour long. I'm so sorry. I hope you watched it. I promise it's cute. <laughs> if you watch this video in full, down in the comments, I want you to put, um, um, oh, let's see, what was it called? A pug? A mer, mer pug? No, it ain't a mer pug. Uh, what was it called? What I call it? A merpug? I don't know. No, let's not do that. Let's put um, in the comments below if you watched this whole video in full. And if you did, I will give you a shout out. <laughs> I will give you a shout out in my next video. I promise. And uh, put in the comments, um, Marty Cat. Yeah, that's my cat's name, Marty Cat, M-A-R-T-Y. But um, anyways, guys, Mr. Marty Cat is meowing. He's under my chair, and he's ready to go to bed. I make my videos late because during the day, it's hectic here. I've got a parakeet, chirp, a parakeet chirping. I've got a phone ringing constantly. I have two dogs barking and everything that goes by. I always say they bark at a fart in the wind. That's how much they bark. If you all have dogs, then you know where I'm coming from. They bark at a fart in the wind, don't they? Anything, everything, a fly fart, they'll bark at it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, guys, I am going to go and wash up my face and get my jammies on. And I'm going to snuggle my babies. And I hope you all have a good, blessed night. And thank you for watching. And remember, if you watch the video in full, down in the comments, Marty Cat. Have a good night, guys, and thank you again for liking, subscribing, and being my friend and all your super sweet comments. I promise I will get to you all and comment back, and um, yeah, go watch you all's videos as well. I am going to have to take a day soon and just comment back, um, watch videos in full. Um, I've got a lot of catching up to do, but um, yeah, guys, take care. And nighttime kisses. Mm -hmm.